Hey you guys, Ogre Barbarian here. I'm back for round five. And I may actually just auto the rest of these. They don't look terribly strong and they're not death stroke teams. I don't know that you actually want to see it all, but I'm gonna show you anyway, but we're gonna do it at hyperspeed. Alright. So we're pretty much just gonna use this team the whole time. It's my go-to bleed team. It does pretty good. If I had Bizarro powered up, I think he would probably fit in there better than um, Siren, but Siren's also really, really good because of her evasion and the amount of blue vicious stats. We're just going to turn it on auto, let everything do its thing, and we should walk out of here with victories. So we've got battles 5 through 10 left. See if we can get all those down here fairly quickly. All right, it was pretty good so far. Uh, just a note on Wonder Woman: she cannot taunt if she is below a certain percentage of health. I believe it's thirty-five percent. So keep that in mind if you're having trouble with her taunts. Just try to knock her down below that threshold, and then she will not taunt anymore. It's really important when she's a leader, because as a leader, she will heal herself. So, just keep that in mind if you're having trouble with a, uh, a Wonder Woman taunting when you don't want her to. Just focus her down a little bit more. Even if she's not a threat, you don't have to kill her per se, but you do need to get her down below that threshold when you're facing off against a Deathstroke team. So that you can start focusing him instead. All right, like I said, we're just going to rocket through these real quick. That doesn't look terribly threatening. I do have a question for you guys, though, if you are listening. I have enough Legendary Essence to L4 one of my other characters here. Now, the question is, do I want to take Cheetah or Camo to L4 first? Now, obviously, eventually they will both be L4, but who should get there first? Cheetah or Camo? And I'm also lucky enough to be working on shards for Siren right now, so eventually she will be L4 as well, but she's much further off than either of those two. Uh, Cheetah, I believe, is at like 185 out of 240, and Camo is, I think, at 145 out of 240 for, for Legendary 4. So they're both, you know, reasonably close to try and take up. So I just was curious what your all's opinions were as to which one I should take up first. Obviously my Lobo will go to L5 at some point. He is probably my favorite character in the game so far because he really does enable this bleed team. If it wasn't for Lobo, I'm not really sure how well this bleed team would actually do because they are relatively squishy for the most part, and they don't have a lot of protection otherwise. Uh, yes, Siren does have evasion, Cheetah is very fast, Camo is very tanky, but they just don't work well together without Lobo. So, it's, it's really tricky to say whether or not he is that linchpin that made this team come together, because I, Bizarro also has that taunt. His taunt is not quite as amazing as Lobo's. Also, Lobo's revive is really, really good, obviously. Um, Bizarro having some really interesting interactions with debuffs if you get him to Legendary. Unfortunately, now that he's not in red alerts, I do not think I will be getting my Lobo anytime soon up to Legendary rank from his L3 that he's currently at. So I'm rather sad about that, but I'm still going to work on him in the hopes that I'll be able to you know, obtain his fragments eventually. Two other characters that have bleeds that a lot of people forget about are both of the Jokers. Both Damaged Goods and uh, Clown Prince of Crime. Now, the difference being that Damaged Goods actually has to be legendary in order to apply his bleeds, much like Swamp Thing has to be legendary to apply his bleeds. Uh, so you do 
you do lose out a little bit just because they have to be legendary in order to be able to apply bleeds. Now, Clown Prince of Crime, on the other hand, can apply bleeds with his Joker Toxin. Or, is it his Joker Toxin? No, that one has to be legendary. And then his second move, whichever one that one is, I can't remember off the top of my head. Because I have him at like R3 as of this morning from the Void Scanner. Um, he can apply bleeds with his second move. So, I mean, only one target. And then it upgrades to like, I think, six bleeds and then three intelligence downs or something. So it's not terribly amazing. But he's still a character you could consider. Now, Damaged Goods... He is a character that I really do actually think has a lot of potential for a bleed team, but it's because his basic, when upgraded to legendary, is a semi-AOE that will apply bleeds, which is interesting in and of itself. And then his second move is his stun, and that stun is on a very low cooldown, so... Well, might have to control a little bit of this one, we'll see. But that very low cooldown stun is, is something that you definitely want to consider using for him, or using him for. Uh, very similar to Aquaman, who has a very low cooldown stun also, and is part of what makes him at least a decent bleed team member. Uh, I still haven't used Aquaman as a leader, just because Cheetah's leader ability is just so much better. Anybody that applies bleeds or anybody that hits a bleeding target has a chance to gain a lot of turn meter. And throughout this video, I'm sure if you watch close, you'll notice characters who do gain the turn meter off of it. So, it is something that really, really does come in handy. Because a couple of these characters, especially Camo, are very slow. Now, it is also not uncommon for me to see my Lobo take multiple actions in a row off of a taunt that was triggered from a death. That one has happened many, many times, especially in PvE, where you're fighting minions or something, somebody does an AoE, knocks out four minions, he taunts four times, and then takes three turns in a row. So, it is very common to see that with his turn meter. So, it's very interesting to, to think about. I know it might seem like I'm kind of rambling at this point, but... I figured I might as well talk a little bit while I'm just running through these PvP battles since they're not as entertaining as the last ones and don't actually warrant a video individually. And if this is one of your teams, I do apologize. I am not trying to insult anybody. I'm just saying that my team is very strong and I'm very confident in what they do. <laughs> so... Obviously, I'm not top-ranked or anything. I don't care about my rank in PvP all that much. Uh, typically, I'll hang around the 10,000 range just because I don't want to face 8 million Deathstroke teams. I know everybody, that's all they're seeming to worry about right now is Deathstroke, Deathstroke, Deathstroke. And I will say the bleed team runs through him so quick, so easy. Uh, Dr. Poison and Siren both have true damage on their moves, or at least mine does at this point. Um, and because of that, it will knock all of Destro's immunities off and trigger his passive if he has that upgraded. So it's very easy to get through him that way. And bleeds, each individual bleed trigger will remove an awareness for it. So if he has seven bleeds on him and seven awareness, they're all gone at that point. So, all right guys, with that, we've cleared the board and out of energy. Have a good night, enjoy, and grind on.